Welcome back. Yesterday was a very special day in Waynesburg. It was Rain Day. The community celebrated the 146th year of their Rain Day Festival on High Street with live entertainment, food, music, and fireworks as well. Selena Pompiani joins us now because she was there to check it out yesterday and to update us on the Rain Day hat bet, oh, yeah. which involved your dad, Bob. Yes, it did. <laughs> he was, he, he, there was a hat bet that, uh, that Bob oh, signed yeah. up for? And you, you, you're you going to find out all about it and okay. if he won. Mm -hmm. So yes, rain or shine, <laughs> the rain day celebration always goes on and it's always a blast. According to records, it has rained on July 29th in Waynesburg 115 times in the last 145 years. But yesterday, I knew my dad was in great shape for the 2019 hat bet. So check out this video. I didn't see one cloud in the sky when I was there. Look at that sunshine. And it's on High Street in Waynesburg, a huge festival every year. And during the umbrella decorating contest, that was the first portion of the day. And this was one of many contests that they held yesterday. It was just beautiful all morning. And of course, you could see we had a ton of other great stuff. We had festival food, homemade lemonade, which I had both the lemonade and the festival food. It was delicious. They had great entertainment, craft booths, games, and a really cool new addition this year. And we got to check it out. And you saw it in the video earlier. And it was the Umbrellas Over Rain Day Sky Project. So it was a new feature they had this year. And it's an artsy installation of red, green, yellow, and blue umbrellas, and it's right over the sidewalk there in front of the Greene County Courthouse. Now, back to this year's hat bet with my dad. Mm -hmm. So, Waynesburg Mayor Brian Tanner, he bet my dad that it would rain. Now, my dad said it would be sunny and rain free. Well, I did catch up with Tanner yesterday, and it looks like he's going to be sending a hat to my dad anytime now. So I know my dad is excited because he will win the hat. Yes. He predicted it's going to be sunny. Right. Um, and we had our very own PTL or Heather Abraham. She yeah, was your hat better last year. So what was that? I can't remember who ended up winning. Uh, she ended up winning. Yeah. She, uh, it did not rain last year. So this is my second year as mayor. I'm 0 for 2. Oh, you heard him, guys. He is 0 for 2. So Heather did win last year, and my dad won this year. So Tanner said they, they had to wait until midnight just to make things official yesterday. But the entire day, morning, afternoon, evening, it was gorgeous and sunny. My dad will be adding to his hat collection now. Uh, you know, I think what we've learned from this mm -hmm. is that Bob Pompiani knows sports, but maybe he could do the weather as well. I know. I yeah. wonder what Ron will think about that. Maybe they could tag team one day. Yeah. I assumed there was a giant <laughs> novelty rain hat, like that raindrop mascot in hat form. <gasps> That yeah. your dad had to wear on the air tonight. Oh. I thought that's what. Oh, we that would have been fun. That would have yeah. been fun. Well, mm -hmm. you never know. We're gonna have to stay tuned to mm -hmm. which hat Mayor Brian Tanner sends my dad, mm -hmm. and then we'll definitely make him either get a photo in it or mm -hmm. maybe do a little video. The whole the nightly studio. sports call, I think. <laughs> the Whatever entire it is. nightly sports call. <laughs> he would do it too. He would. Yeah. He absolutely would. <laughs> that would be one to tune in for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you can bet it will be raining probably today. Oh, yeah. At least that's what meteorologist Ron Smiley is telling us, and Ron is here to tell us when the rain is coming and whether he thinks Bob would be a good weather person. I think Bob is going to be excellent at anything that he does, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Rain-wise, yeah, it's back in the forecast today. We've had seven straight days. Uh, yesterday was the seventh straight day that we had had uh, no measurable precipitation uh, here in the Pittsburgh area. That will likely come to an end today. Uh, we do have rain chances. We'll put it at 40% for most of the day, but you can see a little bit of a bump there right around 2 to 4 o'clock or so. That'll be probably the best chance that we'll have uh, for some rain today. Here's your forecast. I think we top out at about 84 degrees. Now, you're noticing on this forecast at least uh, that we don't get over 81 and the reason why rain chances are going to really drop those temperatures down. So I think we'll go up to 83, uh, 84 degrees really quickly and then probably head right back down to 80 degrees. So it's one of those blink and you might miss it type of uh, events. Here's the next three days for you. 84 your high today, 82 with some more rain around on Wednesday and 82 dry for Thursday. All right, not so bad. Thanks, Ron.
Well, coming up next, that's a cool house. I will take you on a tour inside a $4 million home. It has all sorts of surprises, like an indoor archery range, oh, movie wow. theater, and a leather floor. Stay with us to see all of it for yourself. That is coming up. Then later, Pittsburgh-based RevTown says these are the most comfortable jeans you'll ever wear. The story of how three guys created these jeans for guys just like them, ahead on PTL.